Hi everybody, welcome to Win Pillow Talk, another awesome day. We're grateful to God for his mercies that are new upon us every day. Every day above the ground these days is enough to say, Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace and mercy upon me. Time, God fails not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We were already reminded in life we'll have tribulations, we will have encounters, we'll have issues and problems. But Jesus told me, let us not be afraid because he has overcome it. Indeed, he has overcome it. He has risen. Even coronavirus could not hold him down. He is risen indeed. And in that resurrection power, we are all resurrected together with him. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter the situation or circumstances. But let your faith fail not. Satan is after your faith, and so he brings fear in to consume you that you don't have faith, to operate in faith. At the end of the day, Christ says he has conquered death, and if we're created in the image of God and in the likeness of God, we have that ability to also conquer death. That is my belief, and that is my thinking. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people, people written to me to question and ask about men of men and women of God. My darling brothers and sisters, let me just say this. If God has opened your eyes to see a wrong of somebody, you show us the right way and we all will follow. There is no point sitting, questioning, abusing other people in order to have following. If you know a different way, if you have a better answer, please share. We're all here to support and empower one another to know God more. Today we are all celebrating because somebody offered himself as a living sacrifice for us, a a rock that we can all stand on and not be shaken, a rock that cannot be broken. Instead of us judging one another, let us come in and bring answers on the table that we can all dialogue and do better. Let us not be like a thief on the cross. I'm going to share a story from you. There were two thieves that were nailed with Christ, one on the right and one on the left. The one on the left said, oh, if you're the child of God, now bring down yourself from this cross and let us see. Most of us are busy praying, just asking for coronavirus to disappear so we can then go back into our darkness. Some of us are at home and we're questioning why you're at home. Instead of building a bond in your home, your eyes are outside and waiting for just for coronavirus to leave so you can get back into the sinful nature. But remind us that the wages of sin is dead. Let us look at the world today and ask why is the dead so much? We, we, we're told. I'm not saying everybody who dies is a sinful person. But people who, some people who die are sinful. Same as some people who die are righteous. It is where we end. It is where we end, my darling brothers and sisters. None of us are thinking about our bank accounts today. None of us are thinking about the cars we all have outside. We are all just thinking another day, Lord, to breathe. That's why we're home. Coronavirus has reduced us to hygiene. Wash your hands, wear masks, tie yourself. The, the, the theory changes day by day. Or oh, now it is airborne, it stays in the air longer than they thought. So the next thing will come out tomorrow. It is for you to look for somebody who is reliable, who changes not. Christ has never changed. He will not change for you and I. So you rather stand on that rock that can never change and you build on it. We're celebrating because he sacrificed. For us to be able to, to, to celebrate, we should be willing to sacrifice. Are you ready to sacrifice for Christ? Just like the thief or are you just praying that coronavirus should be taken off. But the thief on the left said, the right said something. He told the thief on the left, he says, don't question this man. You and I have sinned. We are paying for our sin, the wages of our sins. Yes, we accept. And he turned around and told Christ, say, please remember me in paradise. And Christ says, for tonight you and I will be in paradise. He was looking for a relationship. He knew he had sinned. And he was looking for somebody who could help him elevate him to better levels. Are we ready today to be elevated to better levels by the resurrection power in Christ? 
or are we just waiting for coronavirus to be over to continue our sinful nature let us dig within ourselves let us dig deep and question our integrity question our conduct question our character so i was talking to a friend recently and she said if somebody would have told us that in 2020 we we'll all be staying at homes and working from home and the whole nation this is easter everybody's at home watching online mass we all would have refused we all would have rejected if a man of god had prophesied that two years ago or three years ago most of us would have said this false prophets and you would have abused and abused and abused let us stop abusing people but rather dig in the spirit let me share something that I stayed away, but I just I felt this morning I need to, to share my views out for those who are willing to listen. For you to build a house, majority of the time you need a foundation to be able to build on. So if I have a solid foundation, I can either build a bungalow or a skyscraper. When we talk about 5G, it's because 5G is a foundation. You need for you to be able to put chip in people. You need a data, you need a system that will be the technological system that will be so powerful to be laid as a foundation for every other thing to be to be put on it. So let us not be naive and let us not be stupid. There could be an element of truth and there could be an element of lies, but it's our duties to go to God and question and find out. God is not dumb of hearing. He's able to direct and show us which way to go. So let us not be quick to start abusing or let us spend time and develop ourselves. If you have a better answer, if you have a better outcome, please share with us. I would really love to know. That's my little penny. I add to, to the whole sea of ocean that is out there. You know, so don't be quick to refuse. Don't be quick to, to accept. But if you go and read the book of Revelation, I will advise all of us, we have audio Bibles, just put it on audio. You'll probably get an aha moment and the Holy Spirit might speak to you in a different way, in a different format. So let us not be quick to jump into conclusion. Let us not be quick to start pointing hands to a man or a woman of God. It, there is a difference between people walking in the spirit and people walking in the flesh. When you understand those, you can never tell somebody they said a lie. God may, may have shown them something at a particular time, at a particular hour. Does not mean it will manifest instant, immediately in, on earth. It takes a while for things in the spirit to be seen in the physical. So let us learn to walk in the spirit. Die to self. As Christ requires us to die to self. In Gethsemane, he reminded us, he says, not my will, Lord. But let your will be done. He wanted the cup to be taken another way. He never wanted to be separated from his father. But he had to do it. He had to sacrifice. So you and I could connect to the resurrection power. Today, my darling brothers and sisters, I've just come to remind you. The power is available for all of us to connect in. To create that relationship, that bonding. To stand firm. Don't look for prayers because you want a quick fix that you can continue in darkness. Don't look for prayers because you think God is a genie in a box that he'll come and give you the answers for you to continue in darkness. Look for prayers to die to self. Look for that relationship with your father in heaven. Look for that relationship to hold on so you may be directed, so your footsteps will be ordered, so you can know which way to turn. So he becomes a lamb in darkness to navigate your way in, 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 to go. But if we don't have that, we all will fall. We all will be seen wanted. We all will make mistakes and fall really badly and not see him. Unless there is a transformation. Let us transform ourselves, transform our mind, transform our characters transform ourselves to prove to show God the good the acceptable and the perfect will in which he wants us to operate is it possible for you to stand and say Lord not my will but let your will be done in that job not my will Lord but let your will be done 
in that business. This is what I want to do, Lord, but not my will. Let your will be done. In this marriage, I want to live, Lord, because of one thing, but not my will. Let your will be done. In this business that I'm starting, Lord, and, and I want, but not my will. Are we prepared to die to self? To die, encourage us all. By the resurrection power, to die to self, that you may be resurrected to higher and better grounds. In Jesus' name. Love you guys. Bye for now.